And I found that in Marrakesh, above all, we had five different looks. We had the sea, the ocean at Asawera, we had the mountains and the atlas, we had the high plains with fertile plains, we had low plains, dusty, and uh, we had the city itself with the medinas. So we had incredible variety. We didn't have elephants and jungle. So we ended up in Thailand for the ending of the movie, and we're going up to uh, London for the interiors. But Morocco was the key, th key element. And the people, the government, the technicians, the people who are working, the actors, uh, it's been a wonderful experience. They've been extremely generous people. Mr. Castro, for the complete The reason why I didn't film is because this man wrote an un Unbelievable, unbelievable script. I've never read anything like it. I've read, and I've done my fair share of shit um, in, in my you know, nine year acting career, and I've never read anything like what Oliver wrote. And, uh, and of course, I want to work with him because he's a man of, of opinion and a man of passion and, and, and life. I think Alexander really was not the conqueror in, that, in the sense of. Uh, uh, Genghis Khan, I think he was Alexander the wanderer, the, the want to knower, the, uh, the enlightener. He wanted to unify. I think he wanted to bring together a vision of the world that was ultimately almost impossible to bring together. But my God, he had vision. And it's important these, these days, I think so important, to remind young people that there is such a thing as big ideas and big hopes and idealism. And, you know, we, we've become so petty and small and backbiting. Uh, it's so great to work on a movie where there's a big man and a big thought process. Everything, we freed up everything. And in fact, in the documentary, you'll see. Alexander the, the Red is the warrior, the strong man. And it seems you chose Colin, who, sorry to say, doesn't seem to be that strong a warrior. <laughs> outside five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> 